some modern regimen, my friends. It's your pal, Chris. So I finally got my North Face Borealis backpack. And I kid you not, it took me weeks of researching other brands such as Patagonia, 511, Arcturix, um, what else, Timbuktu. I was very close to buying a Timbuktu. Um, however, out of the bunch, the North Face Borealis had slightly an edge over all the rest of the competition just by a small margin in terms of the feature set that comes with the backpack. Now here it is. I really love this thing. And upon first glance as well as um, feeling the material and the textiles, uh, you can really tell that there are quality materials on this. And we're going to get to that in just a second, but I am very pleased uh, with the form factor as well as how it rests on my back. And what's good to know about this bag is that it's actually vetted by a, an official chiropractic organization. I'm not too sure what specifically is the organization's name or acronym, but I know that they did design this bag to be as efficient with weight distribution as much as possible. The size dimensions of this bag are 19.75 inches tall by 13.25 inches wide and 9.75 inches front to back. The volume of the North Face Borealis is stated to be 28 liters. And if you think about it, that's actually 14 2 liter bottles of soda. I have no idea why I thought of that. Now the rear laptop sleeve is supposed to be for a 15 inch laptop, but I feel like it could be a 17 inch laptop as well, but uh, don't take my word for it. But there does seem to be extra room even with my laptop in it, which is a 15 inch laptop. But in terms of specs, the actual dimensions for the laptop sleeve are 13.25 inches wide by 11.75 inches tall. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna be showing you how I use all of the compartments either for urban carry or outdoor carry. I have yet to experience this bag traveling uh, either for an entire day or a weekend, but I will do so because I essentially purchased the North Face Borealis to be my primary daily EDC bag. So make sure you stay tuned for the part two. The Borealis contains the flex vent suspension system, which includes the North Face's proprietary custom injection molded shoulder straps, the padded mesh back panel that creates air canals between your back and the pack to significantly reduce the collection of sweat when on the move. And that said, I haven't gone on any hikes or ultra long excursions yet, as I've mentioned, to experience the flex vent cooling features. But I plan on sharing those details on the following part two episode of this Borealis overview. So since I've acquired the North Face Borealis, I've used it just a couple times to either use as an EDC backpack for taking work on the go, meeting clients, or simply when I'm on errands and I need more compartments than just my pockets to carry things. And you know how it is with EDC, you can never have enough tools or items on the go with you to make your day go smoother. Now what's interesting on the website, what I noticed is that the North Face presents the Borealis as an urban carry backpack. Uh, when you read the description, they definitely stress the laptop compartment, which is also a, a compartment for your water bladder. There is the hanger to a Velcro uh, hanging strip that will suspend your water bladder, your outdoor water bladder uh, up at the top. And there is also a hole for your drinking tube to go through. So although the North Face is known to be an outdoor gear and apparel company, they know very well that in the modern times, many people are out and about in the cities going to work going to school, or just simply out running errands with the necessary means to carry more items. And as for me, I wanted best of both worlds. Primarily, this is going to be my daily carry backpack because I have uh, a lot of gear that I normally take with me everywhere when I'm outside of the house, which may be overkill for some, but for me, there are just things that I need and I never like having my pockets just 
loaded with gear. I actually have a methodology to that, but I will also be taking this outdoors to the wilderness with me. But I am in the market to find a water bladder for this pack. If you have any recommendations, please leave me some down below. That would be actually a great help. I will keep you guys posted when I do actually purchase one. One great feature is the emergency whistle that they have attached to the strap on the back um, where the, it's actually, this is the buckle for the chest strap and there's actually a mouthpiece right there. That's the mouthpiece on the top. So during an, an emergency, if you do need to call out for attention, this would actually help. Or if you're lost or stranded in a critical moment, it could save your life. As I mentioned earlier, the material on this backpack all around is very robust. And honestly guys, I'm not the type that babies my belongings. I really like testing the materials and seeing how robust an item is for long-term use. And that just sets the tone for a brand for me when I don't have to baby their items or their products and I could just keep doing what I'm doing with my life uh, while their products are convenience to my life and can simply sustain daily wear and tear. Another thing I like about this backpack is that this top pocket right here is actually lined with fleece or some sort of microfiber, um, very soft lining. And um, it's perfectly sized for eyewear, which is exactly what I use it for. I wear corrective lenses, glasses, and I need, I don't like carrying cases with me. So that is the perfect spot, um, especially with the fact that I do actually carry a backpack with me whenever I'm on the go. So having my glasses there is just another plus. There is one modification that I had to do for this, and that was to change some of the zipper pulls and create my own paracord zipper pulls for them. And the reason why I did that was because there are so many similarly dangly things on this backpack that in the dark, when you're trying to open up the compartments or the zippers, uh, let's say you're in your tent when you're camping and you're trying to find something in this backpack, but all you're feeling is similar shaped plastic and metal hardware. And you eventually have to pull out your flashlight to open up a compartment just to know where the zipper is. And that's exactly why I have implemented a system of paracord zipper pulls because it makes my life easier when I'm trying to find the right pockets. I'll be talking about that geeky shit in part two. Another handy thing I did was on a daisy chain, one of the proprietary daisy chains on the pack is I hung a microfiber which conveniently slides into the side pocket um, and that makes things handy because I'm constantly trying to wipe my smartphone or my glasses when I'm wearing them um, or when I'm pulling them out of the bag sometimes I do need to wipe them in it's out and about right on the daisy chain on on this on the outside of the backpack so my initial first impressions of the North Face Borealis backpack is that it's growing on me and the reason why I say it's growing on me is because initially when I put it on I felt that it may be a little bit too big for my daily carry, but I'm willing to give it a chance because as the channel grows, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be purchasing more film gear and I'm surely gonna be updating my outdoor gear as well. And this pack was definitely built for that. And what's crazy was at first, I was actually searching for something that was over 30 liters. And thank goodness I did go for any of those options because this may be a little bit big, for my needs. As I mentioned earlier, I am going to be showing you how I would utilize the North Face Borealis backpack as an urban EDC carry, as well as an outdoor gear carry. And I'm really excited to round up that video for you. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. I don't want you to miss the part two review of the North Face Borealis backpack. And to touch on a couple more observations from my end, the water bottle, compartments on both sides of the backpack are of uh, made of netting some sort of durable netting but initially I'm not a fan of 
the elastic netting on the sides because I always feel that those will eventually rip because of gear either poking or stabbing through and eventually creating little tears and rips that grow and grow over the years. Um, however, on Reddit, there are some testimonials from people who have owned the North Face backpack with the same sort of netting and they said that they have not experienced any failure when it comes to carrying uh, water bottles or other pieces of kit. And finally, the flex vent suspension system which incorporates the straps as well as the molding on the back panel where your back rests against the backpack. Those are very, very comfortable. And when you actually have a load in your backpack, you can actually feel the weight distribution move upwards towards the top of your back, which is actually a lot healthier rather than the weight dragging you down and giving you some sort of lumbar stress. Now, normally I'm not really into modern techie design specifications. I used to just be cool with classic waxed canvas or military grade standard issue equipment or packs. I was just really captivated by the simplicity of age-old classic craftsmanship as well as standard issue robust products. But I made myself step out of my comfort zone and I looked and researched and looked at all the new innovations for packs that actually cater to everyday carry. And at first glance, I'm not gonna lie, there was a lot going on for me to process in my brain as to all the cordage, and all the straps, all the zippers, the buckles, the flex vent suspension system. But when I tried it on with my everyday attire, it actually blended in just nicely. So yeah, I love this thing.